Right, Andrew. Brand new series, or yeah. whatever you call it. I went all high then. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new sort of series, and we're going to focus on this one. We're going to go in depth. We haven't done too many technicals for the free channel for quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go very much what we're going to call it the ultimate match plan sort of thing, aren't we? And that we're going to cover as many different scenarios as we possibly can over the next however long. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what conditions are and all of that. And yeah, talk through. What Very similar next, to live yeah. match sort of thing. Isn't it, it is, yeah. What our next move's going to be. Obviously, it's going to get fast forwarded because you know things get edited and all that. But it'd be interesting to see what your next move is when you know them fish sort of like either stop feeding or they might want a bit of a change of bait or yeah, when problems happen. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I like that, and we can just sit back and explain what we feel. The well, best. I can for today's one, Jamie. Yeah, you know what I mean. But anyway, so I've got fishing envy already, though, folks. I do want to have a go. My do. lake, innit? it? We're on your lake today. We come to your lake, and that's what we're going to start with is some. Good silverfish fishing. Positive, lots of fish, big weight silverfish, isn't yes, it? Yes, definitely. This time of year now, we're on what? We're filming this 1st of November. Absolutely. 1st of November today, so the fishing is still good, the water's still warm, it's, it's still 10 degrees. It's weird, isn't it? Because obviously this time of year, we think it gets colder before the actual fish yeah. get into sort of winter mode. Don't we think, oh, we need to like scale down, not feed as much? Yeah. Everything's still like proper up chewing, isn't nom, it? Nom, Carp nom, are nom. still feeding in the edge, oh, yeah. and it's still good. The it's, water's still, well, I spoke to Steve yesterday, Steve's lake on the last day of October was 11 degrees yesterday. Oh, right, okay. So this won't be far off, this will be no, 10. No, 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 this is like... So it's still, the fish is still feeding, and yeah. that's what it's about today. Yeah. Positive, not really negative getting a bite fishing. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's fishing for a big weight of silvers, that's what we're trying to do, hopefully. It's almost sort of like getting out of, you know, if you are catching the wrong size fish, we need to do something different. Even if it might be one and chuck of them, yeah. it might be we need to do something different. It's to get working out how to get at the target weight, that's, isn't it? That's what we're here for today. Yes, that's what we're going to talk about. So, yeah, we are here, as he says, at Trumbull. Yeah, I'm going to sit on the box and I'm going to catch lots and lots and lots of big skin mobs, aren't I? You let me have a go, though, wouldn't you? I promise. Well, as soon as we're done, I shall let thee have a go. So, what are we going to go into? Let's go into it. Let's straight we're into it. it. Yeah, we're not going to talk through rigs and bait. All and all like, that. Yeah, but we're just going to do I mean. that as we go. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. We'll go straight into it now. No bait has gone in whatsoever, folks. I, I promise you. I have fed like a pinch of maggots there. But oh, yeah, I haven't, haven't you had a sneaky I, I haven't really. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to treat my peg today with sat standard open water peg. And I'm going to treat it like I'm fishing a, a good silverfish match where I need, what are we going to say? 40 pounds. 40 pounds, yeah. You like that? Because that's most of them are 40 to 60 pounds, aren't they, to be fair? Yeah. Harry First you. thing we need to know target weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah which definitely. is what we're going to know when we go to these places, Larford. Barst and whatever. What fish you're after as well, obviously. The, the beauty of this one, there's not loads of carp in. You might get one. There's only sort of 50, 60 carp in. Obviously, the venues we've been going to... Very big carpy. But you can't take that into consideration. No, no, no. That's you've just, just got to wade your way through them because the silvers are, are mixed in with them, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is. That's just part of that. But, yeah, today we've got to work out what fish we're fishing for. Yeah. So we're going to have big skim bobs. Big skimmers, little skimmers, hybrids, ids, brown goldfish... Tench, crucians, roach, and roach, gudgeons. gudgeons and perch. So everything. Pretty There's much. Eleven species there, Jake. There's a lot of species in it. I'm not counting the goldfish. They they go back. They not don't brown count. Brown goldfish. Orange ones count. That's it. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> so you can see there's a lot to think about. Yeah, You've man. got to think about how you feed for each species. Yeah, I like that. Because because you had the introduction of hide as well, they're a pain in the ass. They can be. <sighs> It, it, it's difficult on waters like this where the eye, the like the average in two pound, the big fish, you almost don't want to miss out on them. Is that but a big deal, no. It's it's horrible in the way you've got to feed for them. You can't really feed for any other like you can't feed for like that for skimmers. No. In the, the loose feed and fish up in the water. Yeah. But the, the same roach set for so roach sort of, isn't it? Commercial yeah. roach are different. Yeah, definitely. You have to that's the first decision, isn't it? Before I've even started fishing, we need to decide how we need to feed for said species. Yeah. Yeah? Because even skimmers like, like to, in today's, no, I'll talk about today's case in a minute, but even for skimmers on commercials, they are different. Yeah. Beyond different, aren't they? They don't want 10 balls of ground bait. No, it's not over cock, them. isn't it? But it is, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They, yeah. It's weird. Up until now, they almost like loose feed better than anything. Yeah, they do. But then it starts, on this one, it's not so much, is it? They like yep. it a bit different on here. But loose feed can be mega. That does definitely send to dwindle November time and they'd rather a little bit of bait. Yeah. But it becomes more trappy for skimmers instead of a big load of bait. Let's say roach want loose feed 100% of the time on a commercial. Yeah. Ids do. Yeah. And all the other fish you need to fish I think that, areas yeah, for. That's like you've said, you need to find out what species you're going for first, don't you, on your fishery? Yeah. And targeting the right species in the right areas is massive as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Huge. Again, that's what we're going to talk about. So, open water peg behind me, dead simple. And we've got 
a standard slope as well, I'm going to say. Mm. And it's just a nice big slope, literally from there, keep going to six foot. Yeah. Doesn't it? it is lovely. Six foot. Yeah. Just over six foot, innit? Yeah, I'm having that. Six, six foot there, a little bit over six foot out yeah. on Yeah, so it's just one solid slope all the way down. And then nice and flat. So that slope's going to be massive. Mm. Even though it finishes quite quick, doesn't it? It finishes on about a top five, top four. It's short on here. Finishes quite quick. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah, when the fishing's good, like now, I love that because it means they'll come close. Yeah. In the winter, it'll mean that there might not be any there. That's so like further the in the lake. Our job, in it, that yeah. kind of thing. But I think depth's massive as well, Jay, isn't it? Huge. You know I mean, obviously, it's, it's beautiful on here in that you've got nearly four foot on like your, your bit of top kit line. Yeah, Six I have. foot. I have. It, on my top kit line, I've got that much. Fish get so confident in that Which depth is of water. four foot. That's four foot on my oh, pole, Joy. Yeah. So I have four foot on my top kit here, a lot of water. Yeah. That's Perfect. amazing. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're still seeing sort of like three foot, aren't we? Three foot. If you've got three foot in your head, you're going to catch on it still, aren't you? Yeah, there's a chance. But yeah, let's talk about the match then, what the plan is today. Um, or session, rather. We're going to fish three lines. Yeah. There's the starting line, which I think is massive. And a little edge, definitely for me, a lot of selfish matches has been when you can get away with it up until it goes clear. And as long as you've got depth, like you said, mm -hmm. starting there on a top kit, it's mega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it works in two ways. It works as a very quick start, which you do not have long. Yeah. The tree's going to fall yeah. down. Um, what am I about? It's a quick start that you don't have long. And it's somewhere just to nuh all day. To drop and online, isn't it? And you've got the advantage, Jay, that you're, you're priming your other swims. So by the time you go on them, there's going to be fish there anyway. So yeah. you can naturally go into that progression of continuing to put Things fish are in there. Yeah, yeah. They, for some like reason, that. they do. It's probably because the way we feed. But unless it's tappy pellets, which comes later in the year. Yeah, yeah. Because you've introduced a bit of bait, it's always yeah. a slow start of selfish match, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. Always, always thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, even when you need seventy pound, you yeah. often don't catch for two no. hours. No, and it, it progresses. So, top kit lines mega. We've got yeah. that covered. Yeah, should we talk about it? Yeah, I think we have to. <coughs> so uh, Excuse me, everyone. I'm dying. Freezing on it when we're fishing. So, yeah, let's talk about it. I've set up a rig for that. I've probably gone the wrong elastic. I put a six on. I would rather have an eight. I should have. I just clunky, didn't grab clunky, one. big perch. Yeah, it's but again, it's like, fish. yeah, definitely. So I'm positive on that. I've got a 0.2 carbon stem float. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strung out with number 10s at the bottom. We're not going to go too fancy into the rigs, but yeah, that's just strung out with four or five number 10s in the bottom. Nice, delicate. It's not fancy. Yeah, but I want it to be through the water as well. Yeah, this is your ticky overline. Because I'm just going to throw some maggots. A little bit of bait in. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going to I might feed an odd little nugget of ground bait they'll talk about in a minute. It's just a, it's a very basic line. So you could use any sort of rig on that. It, I'm not too fussed on it. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a bit heavier, 012 line, 16 hook. It's basic for catching anything. I could yeah. hook a perch, could hook a crucian, could catch nothing. I could catch just these little, and then it's not worth it. But it's just there. But it's that thing that is a quick fix. You're going to catch some fish to start off with, aren't you? You know yeah. what I mean? It's me. It's, you always catch it's me fish quick. On. I'm going to cheat. In fact, I'm not going to cheat. We're going to leave it. Jamie, leave it. Right, Come on. Next. I don't We're going to Let's go back into the lake. So short line next, aren't you? Yeah, short. short one. So we've set up three lines. We're going to have a top kit. We're going to have a top kit and two, which is the bottom of the slope. In today's case, I've gone just past the bottom of the slope, but it's still rock hard, yeah, isn't man. it? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I think that's still important at this time is avoiding silt. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. I think it still has a, it is still a pain. Now, in, in a month's time, it doesn't matter, does it? For it doesn't some reason. seem to fizz out. You might it get one or two like, little bobby bubbles, didn't you? Yeah. This it's time completely. of year can be a pain. So I've tried to avoid it on my short line. Yeah. Um, I'll talk about feeding of short line in a bit. That one's got 416s float on. Yeah. Yeah. That one's got a bit more sensitive than the other one has. Because with this one, I've got a one mil solid bristle. I want to see what's going on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of water there. One mil solid bristle for silverfish makes a difference. You yeah. see more that's going on, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, Definitely. big thing that with your bristles when it comes into it. Carbon stem, because I want to fish through the water. I want to fish fast. I don't need to worry about wire. I don't tend to use wire for anything these days other than tappy pallets. Yeah, I think that's right, mate. It's the only time for me now. Yeah, used to I use wire think. quite a bit. Now, no. It's caused tangles, caused problems. No. Carbon stem. It's got a single eight on that. Yeah, boy. I want to whack them. Wallopy, wallopy. Yeah. Love it. And this one's shotted with that taper that we're always yeah, babbling about. Quite a spread taper. Yeah. Yeah, in that I've got a four inch hook length on. That's 010 with, uh, what have I got on that? An 18s F1 maggot on that. Yeah, boy. Um, and then I've got two number 10s. Then I've got number nine, number nine, number nine. And then number eight, number eight, number eight. Oh. And then a fine tuner above it. 
So it's quite a heavy rig that's going to get down quick, but it's that nice, that last bit comes in nice. So good. This, this style yeah. of fishing, you know what I mean? When you can put a little bit of bait in, and just... Ah, just beautiful, nah. isn't it? When they yeah. just get closer, so slightly closer as you get to it. Just yeah. nice. And I've got one trimming shot there. Forget about it. That's just to get me bristle right. But very basic. Nothing fancy. That bristle's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big, big. And then me long line for in today's case, it's about skimmers. Yeah. Yeah. That line is about catching everything. Absolutely anything I could catch on that. So I want that bit of finesse to it. This one I'm looking at catching almost exclusively skimmers. You having that? Yeah. Mom. In today's case for the type of venue it is. And often the big skimmers feed long on this one as well. Yeah, they do. Don't need a nice one. It's a real late on you get them short on this one. But it's like the same with an heavy venue you go into it. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm going to yeah. catch them long. Yeah. So this one, I've got a bigger float. I've got a 0.75. Um, what they are finesse carbon on. It's got a hollow bristle at just so I can see it a bit better. Yeah, light can be a bit pongy at this time. Yeah. I'm still not having to go to rock bottom with my tappy pellets so I can fish a bit of a nicer bristle. Mm -hmm. So I've got one of our 0.75s that are very annoying. They're all left-handed, so you've got to... Put... Oh, no, that wasn't. That was right-handed, that one. Go on, Jay, lad. Sorry. He was right, I normally you? get shouted at for them. We shout yeah. was on it and everything. Point seven five on one of them. Yeah, but I'm wobbling it everywhere, so he's going to shout at me <laughs> when he turns it off. Um, I've got a single six on that one. Yeah. Because skin bobs yeah. are knobheads. Yeah. They do like falling off. They are, aren't they? They do Pretty like much. falling off, folks. They do. Yeah. So yeah. I need the light elastics. It's deep and I can just yeah. mm, tease Sneak them out. Back. Fine tuners underneath it to get me bristle right and mark me depth. We spoke about that loads and loads and loads. And then bigger shotting down the bottom. Same as always, though. But this has got four inch chuck length again. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's on that. An 18. Fine wiry thing on that. Ping it all over the place. It's on there. And then I've got on this one four inch chuck length. Number nine on my loop. Yeah. Number nine, number nine, number nine. And then, so it's four number nines and then four number eights. Oh, lovely. Standard, it's like a soft pellet rig. Again, because the bites and everything like that, we've talked about loads. That's just why we like have a big in here. That's why I've got a nine here. Yeah, I love it. And if they're a pain in the arse and I think my bites are rubbish, I'll take that nine off and I'll put it there. Yeah. No problem whatsoever doing that. But we haven't got to go ultra delicate just yet. Mm. It'll still be positive. Got to be fast. Yeah. Because the fish are still moving around the peg quite well. Definitely. So that's it. Simple as those three rigs literally cover everything when it comes to this and it is keeping it simple isn't it obviously we talk about it all the time match conditions keeping it simple but that is as simple as you get free swims don't overcomplicate it because the fish is still feeding as we're saying yeah and it's just sticking to it isn't it keep it simple lots of rotation but it's going to be all about so with that done it's time to get some pegs fed right andrew of the may you might go yet let's do some feeding so it's... i've got bait is very very simple today is it too early for my go yeah, it's too early for your go yet you can have a go in a bit yeah boy so right, i'm going to feed on. all my lines really quick i've got two ground baits mixed yeah I've got one bag of Thatcher's Dark, yeah, all ready to go. He's going to be for me top kit, so he's going straight in. Little tiny baby ball of him. Ten maggots and a ball of Thatcher's Dark, yeah. He's going to plop in there. Fashion. First thing I do as soon as the whistle goes. Yeah. I think you're going to catch a big perch there straight away, Jay lad. Well, I'm going to go on that in a bit. Next, I'm going to feed me long line because I've got that much pole in and Richard's got his camera set up. And my oh, long line's going to be fed. Yeah. With handful of micros. Yeah. Yeah. Handful and half of micros. Yeah, one ball of ground bait. Yeah, one and a half balls of ground bait, and a few dead maggots. Oh, you're not putting many red maggots and dead red maggots and white maggots in there, Jay. Lad. Not too many because I don't want too many gudgeon in my peg. Oh yeah, there's lots of goose on. Yeah, there, so that's yeah. all we're getting on that long line. Yeah, which is about one big ball's worth, to be fair. Cheeky. Yeah. But it's really, really heavy mix. That is F1 original app. Are you going to make it? What are you going to do? How are you going to put it in? Are you going to... See, that's the thing we need to talk about. Undertow and... <laughs> it is undertow and things because... But it's not. It's the, still the venues. today. Would, are you going to put it in loose or like in a ball? I'm going to put it in like that. Just give it a... Ugh. Ugh. Right, Because okay. it's really, really wet. Like really, really wet. Everyone you speak to is everyone's different, aren't they? Some just go straight into that... And then that I'm going to... Uh, in my pot a bit. Right. But it's just one nice big ball, but loads of bait in it. Yeah, I mean, there's a big handful of micros. There's some maggots in it. It's happy. But it's skin bob, so I can top that off. And obviously that's super crush, it's like... Yeah, and I'm not going to go right to the end of my pole. I'm going to, and then I'm going to come back a little bit. Cheeky. Yeah. Love it, mate. And he's going in there. Which way is he going in? He's going to have to go in that way, because I think my pot's coming loose, and if I go the other way, I'm going to spin it off. Uh-oh. There's a bolt right. on there, mate. I'll get in the bolt. Here we go. Yeah. Bloop. Gone. Love Beautiful. It. Love it. And the last line I'm going to feed is we've only gone two sections really, really close. Oh, Jay, lad. This Due is the wallopy, wallopy line. I your advice. Talk. So good. And this one, let me get rid of that, is Thatcher's Dark. Yeah. Yeah, a bit less selective than just feeding yeah, F1 Original. 
We're going to put two handfuls of that in. Is there a reason why you're not going to go down the loose feeder route first? Is that simply because you want to see what's there first? Yeah. yeah. So we sometimes get greedy. I'm going to put a big handful of worms in. Yeah. They're going in because I like them being nice and dragging in some big fishies. Yeah, man. And again, they get some dead maggots. Yeah, a <laughs> lot more bait in that one. Yeah. Yeah, notice no casters. Just, I like maggots more these days. I think, yeah, is that something we need to mention? When would you do casters over maggots, Jay? Don't know. I, for everywhere me, I go, I keep if using maybe maggots. If it's your ID, I'd go casters. But for when it goes proper cold or for skimmers, it's always magwise. Yeah, always. seems to be, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Right, this one's got the same again. Not even a squeeze, just a... Uh, and I might only put one in there. I'll see what I feel like. Let's just get in that for now. So on, on this on this feed, obviously it might be half it might be an hour before we even fish this one. Max conditions, Jay. Yeah, it could be ages. What are you going to do with the guards topping up because you're not loose feeding? I'm going to watch everyone else. He's right one for that, folks, isn't he? He loves watching yeah. people. Plop it in. <laughs> that was a lot stickier. That went down a lot better. That I will yeah, put this a little bit in. And this is going in very very loose. I can't wait. Can I first go on yeah, this line? Barely squoze that. I mean, all the particles will sink, but it's not a big ball on the bottom. So as you expect, that toe's going slightly left to right, isn't it? Yeah, if I want to throw some maggots in, great. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to lodge bait over that. I've been guilty of that in the past, of being too excited. Yeah. Probably due to your influence of how good it's going to be. It is, isn't it? And you get too giddy by feeding bait too quick. I mean, you can put it in, but you can't take it out, Andrew. That's it. You know, the other thing as well, it does attract the wrong fish to silvers matches. Too much loose feeding. Yes. Carbs, F1s, definitely. Yeah. So, we'll see you later on. view of them. And right, I'm going to start Jay, on yep. my top kit. Yeah, boy. Instant. Instant, Just, Jamie. Perch. That's, what, that's what I want, is a quick quick start, isn't it? Or roach. Perch. Red roach. one or white one? Red. Red one. That's weird, I can't do whites now. It's winter time, isn't it? Roach. Single red maggot on Perch. that. Perch. That's how quick we're going in. Pole stock's in way. Yeah, big long length of line. Rig's horrible, but it doesn't matter. Oosh, roach is Am I in shot, away. Rich? Roach is, Go, Roach, Roach is having it instantly. Yeah, man. I need a bigger rig on this, a heavier rig, but it'll do for now. Let's see what do we catch. what we want to get across, wouldn't it? Eesh. But it's fast starting it, that's what oh. I want, is quickly get in, get some bites. Yeah, boy. But it never lasts for long. This rig's horrible, I need to shorten that line up by about three foot. I'll do that now. So I don't want to lose feed too much, because see how these are being <laughs> balanced? <laughs> yeah. So the last thing I want to do is lose feed a load. Oh, man, it's a rule! I was going to net it, but Dave will yeah, turn it, off if I do. It's worth mentioning, obviously, in, <laughs> in that depth, even though, like, running on the top kit, th these fish, obviously, will come right shallow. Yeah. You've got to be careful, ain't you? Yeah, I don't want them to. No. I want them to stay on bottom. So I'm not going to feed again on that. Yeah, I don't want to get giddy, start loose feeding. Yeah. Because they'll go stupid. So this is where I've gone wrong, like, straight away. What, you'd loose feed straight I'm on top of them? I'm not baiting there, Jamie. Well, because like, my rig's a bit too light, really, I should have set up a heavier one because I didn't think it was going to be as deep as it was. Oh. I'm going to top it up with ground bait instead. Oof. Right, I need to behave myself here. and I'm getting a bit giddy. So I'm going to leave that long length for line because I don't care. It's a, it's a line that's overlooked this, Jay, isn't it? Not many oh, people mate, no one uses it, did he? I, I, hybrid, so I told you your first three would be different species. You did as well, didn't you? hybrid. You're going to catch two out of two. Come on, one more. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's an overlooked method. I, it's something that I've been, I, yeah, yeah, until like last couple of years, I've never done it. Never no. even thought of doing it, Quick mate. start, innit? I'd always be starting off long and I'm working my way back. So I can keep clocking my lines as well, especially the long one. That's so what are you looking for out there? Bubbles, because it's silt. Yeah, but... So obviously... Either way, it benefits. I mean, I'm leaving it to settle. I'm yeah. not jumping on it, catching the early fish on my peg. If anything, I'm not even bothered if I catch on this top kit. I flip. Oh, no. Oh, it's not. I thought it was a good year there. This is the, um, yeah, this is, this is the advantage you've got, that you're catching fish straight away. It's giving you confidence. Out there, the longer you leave it, more and more fish are coming. I think you just had a bubble out there straight away as well. Do you reckon something just yeah. happened? But staff, no one else has probably caught a fish now, have they? No, they're still feeding. Everyone everything. that goes on the lines... We're still putting bait in, Jay. Yeah, you're not going to catch. No. Nope. And I'm going to top this up with a ball of ground bait instead of... What, instead of loose feeding? Yeah. Oh, Jamie, you got... Oh. It's... I'd... Oh. How mad's that? It's just... But I'm not exaggerating, am I? In the in a month's time, you would not get a bite on this. No. There's no fish here. No. But these early matches... Waco's just done it at Larford, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waco's just had £70. It, pound, mostly on a top kit. 
Was it seventy pounds? Yeah, in Gaza's Blimey first now. qualifier. Yeah, I thought you were forty pounds. No, nope. seventy pounds mostly on a top kit. Look, oh, it's black, isn't it? Rich is loving this. Rich wants to get on this. This is his thing. Nah, he'd, he'd be on meat cock. Be on the meat already, wouldn't he? I'm catching fast now, so I'm looking to catch. So imagine this with like a four fourteen's bulk and a dropper. I do, I do need a bigger rig. Yoink! But then do you not think you miss out on no tree that. Because they're taking it, they're watching it down, Maybe. aren't they? I ain't too fussy on this line, it's no. just a... it's a quick fix, isn't it? Yeah. But I would, just for today, I feel like a slightly heavier float would have been better. I thought it was going to be a foot shallower. And by the time I put it on, I'd committed. I'm going to put a few dead maggots in that ground bait, because I want some bait getting down. Yeah. So I'm trying to just strike now, so I'm not laying me rigging, being efficient. Yeah? Yeah. I don't want to give it the big end. Oh yeah, I like that. And you talk about that. When there's like a lot that. of fish through the water, all too often you see people lifting the whole rig out, laying it in, don't you? Yeah. Where it's just that. Just lift be fast. Up. Yeah, that's good. There you go, when you're up, come on. Great. Oh, he's a good yeah, boy! Go on, and gases. But what I want to do on this in the ideal world, yes, it's lovely for starting on. Yeah. But I'd love to hook some bonus fish on it. But I, I'd, I'd be too greedy I mean, to expect to hook them first. We would do, folks. Obviously, match conditions, the longer it went on, and like obviously we're getting bites, we're going to catch on it. But we want to fast forward everything today, don't we? You yes, know what I mean? it's going to be quick. And you would, 100%. Well, we, you do, don't you? I caught a big skimmer the last time out on it. All sorts of things happen, don't they? Yeah. Especially with it being warmer. So I'm just going to keep topping that up with that. Perch I'm keep making well. one of them every like three or four fish. Is that perch? Good gin. Oh, it's a perch! <laughs> <laughs> What am I in? I'm four species in already. Yeah, boy. Should have done that bloody race to thingy from here. I could have caught everything on here. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I'd be so happy now with how fast this is. I like how it's calmed down since you put that ground bait in as well. That's got to the bottom. It's settled on it. Yes. I reckon it's a carp there. No, I'm not having that. <laughs> no, it's not. It's because you're feeding it right. It's Jim. too early, in it? I'm not loose feeding because the fish that are in my peg, if I were to loose feed, I'd have to try and catch them on the drop or shallow. And I, yeah, yeah, that's when problems will start. I don't want to do that on my top kit. No. Might actually be a carp there this time. But we'll see. I ain't going to give it long, though. We're going to give it, today's case, I'm going to, what should we give it, 10 minutes? Yeah, that's it. I mean, obviously, I've not got a look at and anyone it else It sounds today. like now, Jay, obviously, we've been getting that. Like, I my baits come off. Chuck, I'm going it? for my baits come off, because it hasn't moved. No. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Mum. But, like, if you'd still had your bait on and you'd gone that quiet... With how fast it was, you were getting bites. That's when you think about coming off, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's a quick fix. Isn't do you know it? what I'm going off? Hooking maggots in the pointy end. Why? Because they do come off a lot when you do it. Oh, if you strike too hard, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have, yeah, I can't. I'll come through the thick bit anymore. No, me. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see if there's actually fish in my peg. Oh yes, it's still solid. Oh, why? Bitch. But they're ticking over. I mean, that's not what we want to catch. But it's fish in my net. Even if I put a flipping pound in my net, which I ain't far off already. I ain't bothered. I mean, great, to pound, and I haven't caught doing nothing else. People are still waiting for a bite out long or whatever, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think you want to catch the scout as well. I don't think you want to catch first fish no, in the No, you need to send him in and like get him built up. Come on, boys, yeah. we're it's, safe. These are getting a bit too small now. I'm hating it now. See, catching these might mean I need to lose feed. Yeah. Yeah. But it's little things like that, isn't it? Making decisions that quick that you yeah. think are irrelevant. Definitely. I think if you, as soon as you put loose feed in there, they're going to come off. bring the roach back. I think the roach will come back though, yeah. And then you can fish your foot off bottom and then catch one of chuck. Yeah. <laughs> you could even, this time of year, you could catch a crucian a tench, an eyed. Anything could come on that top, yeah. here, couldn't it? Definitely. I'll flip me bait off again. So I'm going to loose feed this time, but after I've hooked one. I'm going to wait till I've nailed one and then chuck some more bait in. Wind's getting a bit lively, isn't it? Branch is right over my head behind on that horrible tree. Yeah, chance of death here, isn't there? Oh, leaf hey on up. my head. At least you want an umbrella. See, it's changed, so I'm going to lose feed over the top of my float and see yeah. what it does. So this is proving to be not a good top kit line today, but it's still something, it's fish. You reckon? Yeah, I'd say it's good. No, they've gone like this too quick. What small? If they'd have stayed roach, I'd have been dead happy. This ain't exciting me catching good. I think you'd catch roach now that you just put some bait in. Loose yeah, bait. I'm going to have a double maggot on as well. Oh, here we go. That's it, Jay, lad. Is that it? It's going to happen now? Yes. Definitely. Yeah, for me, they've gone too small. Yeah. Oh, on the bottom, 100%, yeah. That quick? Definitely. So I'd nearly be off this already. See, that were a roach then. Yeah, on the First yeah. time a loose feed, and it... Yeah. yeah. So 
up and in. Oh, yes. Oh, bigger so pitch. the bottom. Foul up, Gudgeon. Oh, go on, the Q shot. Is he fell in net as well? He's me landing net. So You've got to be there. lucky, Jamie. He would have gone in him. It's a big Gudgeon, that hey, one. That's like they did with the, uh, did with the bleak. bleak, isn't it? Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Laying loads, me. But nearly off this already. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Fish feeling that. Small. It's gone pongy from how it started off. Yeah. Yes. But what I would do, like we mentioned, I'd watch everyone else. If no one's caught a fish, you stay on it. I'm staying here. Yeah. Yeah, what's the point? Unless I'm seeing some fizzing, something happening, catch fish. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm striking too hard again. Mad how much time that wasting it. If you whack it a little bit hard, yeah. it's 10 seconds per cast and wasted. Instead of just giving it the little one of them. Oh, that was on that. Yeah, they've gone. Uh, they've gone little, haven't they? Little and rubbish. There, but that isn't finished for me, that. It's just finished now. For me, I put a load more ground bait in there now. Thinking that there's loads of fish there eating me bait. Just take them. Take I want them it down. to become a bonus fish line now. Yeah. That I can drop on if tits, things go tits up with them too. Yeah. And I just need somewhere to drop and catch a few ounces or whatever. That's what it's going to always be there for, because there's loads of fish here, isn't there? Yeah, man. But they're tiny. So that's the next step straight away. I'm going to catch one more fish on it, and we're going to move out instantly and make yeah. something happen. Where would you go? Would you instantly go long and long, leave a short line? Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely yeah. go long first. Yeah. Usually Just, the most productive one, isn't it? When it's fishy catches, that's yeah. shorter line for later on. First hour, you still have to treat things carefully, don't you? Yeah. And go to where you're most likely going to catch them. Yeah, this has gone crap now. And double maggot's not as good, so that tells me there's just little diddy fish there. Have you got a double maggot on? Yeah, went big, didn't I? Went crazy. Crazy, I went on. Do I feel like there could be something bigger there now? It's gone a bit quiet, hasn't it? Yeah. <coughs> it changes, <coughs> Excuse isn't it? Excuse me. Literally that quick five minutes, then it changes. Last drop, and then I'm off it. Regardless this time. Well, I've, have I put a pound in the net? Not quite. I reckon I've put 10 ounces in the net. You give me that? Yeah. Say, wrong fish. Little weird fish. Yeah. But so. you quite happily just keep topping that up, though, Jay, yeah? Yeah, it's just there, isn't it? Yeah, man. It's never a winner, it's is it? It's not doing anything, is it? No. Just but a there line. So I'm going to give it again. more dead maggots. And yeah. I'm going to give it some bait this time. Yeah. I'm going to give it one of them. Yeah, stodgy ball. And every now and again, I'm going to loose feed some bait over the top of that. Love it. And now we're going to go on the lines that we're fishing. Cool one, Jamie. So out long now, yeah? Going on big and before and I even go out, I'm just going to pop it up a bit for you two because the wind's changed a bit now and it might not be as visible. And what are you going out with? Maggots, the maggots. Yeah, get a bite. Yeah, no pot on, no nothing. Just go in, two double, uh, double dead red. Get a bite in it. Six on skimmy. So what are you going for? Yep. So it's non-selective yet, isn't it? And I, I'm guilty of this loads of times, me. I do it so often and I wish I didn't. I wimp out on, I always end up feeding maggots early on the long line. What, loose feeding them? Yeah, when I shouldn't. Because yes, it makes something happen faster. Yeah. But in turn, it leads to lots of little fish in your pen. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go straight in, right over the top of my bait. Pretty much. Well, maybe I could have left that shot on. That's fine, that J lad. No, all right, it looks very high for seeing skimmer bites. Will we'll on see. big doofer. Nah, it's perfect that. Mm -hmm. Don't nail that. Let's go straight in over bait. See what's happened. Yeah. See it's on skimmer. What are you going for that quick? Be seeing you. Yeah. So I'm not seeing any signs. I don't like it, Here but that's because I've got no one else to watch. Oh no, a little baby one. Yeah. But at least something happened. Is that a good you? See, these are the fish that... So if you're loose feeding, you'd have had them in your bag. Yeah, look with a peg full of them, don't you? Which you yeah. don't mean I'm catching fish, you're not bothered, but I don't want to loose feed because it will end up with a peg full of them. So because they're there, they're first on your feed, and because maybe necessarily the big fish aren't feeding just yet, so that later on it might be different that loose feed's brilliant. Yeah. But when the fish aren't in your peg, don't expect it to work like that. You're going to do the wrong thing with it. Put that rig straight in over the top again. Come on then, Papa Doms. Here we go, Jamie. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Another little fish. I thought that was a skimmer. It fell though. off. Oh, it fell off. Oh, Jamie, nobody. The bait falling over. And it was a skimmer, though, because yeah, I've got a, a little, skimmer, little kiss of Ming. Not straight in. It's lovely and quick still, isn't it? I love yeah. feeding without a pot on. Heron. Shelty Heron. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I love feeding without a pot because it's so fast, isn't it? Yeah. I can just flop that rig over, dump back in. And it settles quick because them great big droppers and everything. And it tightens up fast as well. Yeah. Like at the minute, I put it in the wrong way. But I'm not bothered for the first couple of casts because I just want to see if there's fish in me swim like there is. Oof. I don't know what's going on there, Andrew. Poppadoms, isn't it? I don't know if they are. I think it's them little roach in me peg to start with. Nah, it's poppadoms. You're feeling it. Skimmer yeah. straight away. Proper soft mouths, these skimmy, slimy poppadoms, aren't they? Right, let's see what happens. So I put it in the right way this time. I've put my bait to the right, float to the left. Now it all should be tight and my care <sighs> should be happening. Oh, Jamie. And I'm eating it. What's going on? These are little fish, I'm telling you, little fish to start with. There's no signs yet, is there? There's no bubbles or nothing. Nope. It'll happen though. Will how silty it is. Once them big ones come in yeah. peg. Oh, Here we go. It's just. Just the oh felt gives a go, Jay lad. Oh, nice and quick was that on? And that's like a bonus fish. So quick, like isn't it? topping up wise then, what are you waiting for? Because obviously we're getting bites really quick. Like are you we... waiting for a certain amount of time between not getting bites or small fish appear again? Yeah, you just feel like nothing's happening. So even I'm I'm quite surprised we're missing bites like I've done. Because the way I fed, there's nothing through the water. Yeah. I mean, it's quite weird. It's probably because there's some little there, ones. Maybe, yeah. There's so many fish coming to your peg here. But I want to keep them on the bottom, so everything I do. Yeah. It's going to be in ball form, keeping it on the bottom this time of year, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, obviously there's venues that are different. We've just mentioned Larford before, that you're loose feeding, but with meat and things like that. Yeah. That's different. Fishing with maggots and ground bait. The last thing I want to do is start loose feeding maggots now, just because of the venue. I mean, we go to a different venue, Makings, yeah. and you can because there's no not an influx of little tiny fish yeah, yeah everything's like nice isn't it Decent. yeah every lake is a bit different how you have to think about it isn't it yeah and that's what we said folks make sure you're doing your homework first before well, you just in, reading what's going on yeah. i mean the signs that you're seeing i didn't know them little roach were in here it's it's seeing that quick yeah that you go oh yeah that's not right to do that because i'll end up with a peg full of them yeah it's about the easiest route to that 40 pound isn't it yeah is what we're after yeah, if you do the wrong thing, like so you can easy end up with a peg full of fish, looks great, busy lunatic, bothering juveniles all day. So I'm going a little bit slow, put me rigging because I've got to play dodge the leaf, I think. But going that way is so much better, keeps it tighter. Yeah, so the toe's going left to right, so you put, yeah. Right to left, the toe's going in it. Is it not going against the wind? Is it going left no, to no. right? No, if, I don't think there is any tail. I think it's just surface moving today. Oh, is it? So I want my float to get caught up in it. Uh, was that a bubble then just past me float? Yeah, boy. And the effort it oh, all to be lovely and tight. Away. Oh, Jamie, yeah. yow. There's a lot of little fish there, though, isn't there? Yeah. So you just wade through them, innit? First hour, wade through everything. It is these. Obviously, you never lose feed or anything like that in your peg. No, look at them. They're a nightmare. Go on, so they're another reason as well, them little diddy skimmers. Yeah why it's not yet tappy pellet season. Because you're just getting influx There's of them. too many little tiny ones, yeah? yeah? It's mad, micro pellets and little expanders are the best way of catching fish that big. But yeah. anyway, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna sort of have a bit of a cut and I'm just gonna wade through it. I'm gonna spend 20 minutes now wading through it until it's time to top up. And then let you know what we've caught and why we're topping up in it. Yeah, boy. Right, 20 minutes in. Yep. And it's full of little fish on there. Little bobby ones, isn't it? Isn't it? Lots so what I'm going to do, I'll bites, have me mix there ready, that I've already mixed, 50% micros, 50% ground bait. I'm going to put a few more micros in it, and I'm going to try and not feed many maggots. Because I think they're what are causing the little fish, fish to like it. Yeah, and I'm just going to top up with one of them. 
Like it? Yeah, not a lot. But a lot of micros in that. So what we're saying, it's probably been 25 minutes, 20 yeah, minutes? 20 minutes, and I've probably got the first one. three yeah. pound in my net. Yeah. Which, I'm well happy with that. Things are happening, aren't they? Yeah. So loads of bites out there, but... You wrong know, fish, wrong busy fool, fish, aren't I? So I'm going to top it up. What I would do, depending on what I was seeing around me, is I'd drop on my top it now and you have a quick go. You won't, you won't go straight on that? I'm, I'm going to, but I would drop on my top kit in, in a match. Yeah, man. Just for, like, to catch one fish. Yeah, because you put that bait in before, didn't you? Like yeah. 10, 15 minutes ago, I suppose. Instead, yeah. I'm not. I'm just going to feed another. Yeah. Another. I'd say nothing else has been fed on me. Top kit top in two, your short line. On my again. short line, no. That's just been fed and left. So we're going to go straight over that bait I've just fed. Did you ever put a white maggot on long? No. Only ever red. Skin bobs, it's always red, isn't it? It's weird now, isn't it? Like, it's summer, mm -hmm. I can't use reds, but, yeah. yeah. Straight on Straight that. over that bait. Yeah, boy. What are you predicting? Straight on it. You're Crucian. predicting instant bite? Yeah. I can get crucian. So I'm not catching any bonus fish yet. I've only caught that one. What are you going to say? Eight ounce? Mm, Six ounce? He's a little bit bigger, I think, said Jay, lad. I it? said he was ten Aussie. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've only had one decent one. But they're what we want it to progress to, that I'm catching one of them every flipping go, isn't it? Yeah, Mum. But it's not rushing it. How often do you do that? I'm the world's worst for that. With big skimmers, you need to think of them like carp. They yeah. do not eat until late on. No. And I'm always guilty of trying to make them Force it to have a chew early. quick and, and knacking me peg as a result. Yeah. With waiting for quality skimmers, unless it's special, like in the summer when it's solid. Ugh. Still a little fish, but... It'll it change, in it. It will change. That's a, a little bit bigger. Bit, bigger roach. Bigger roach. Oh, what is he? Oh, skin bob. Little bobby skimmers. Hmm. Woohoo! But them soon way up, don't they? You know don't what mind. Put fish in me now. It's ticking over. It's all good, isn't it? So there's no rush. And I bet you no one's in the same boat. There'll, there'll have been like two or three big skimmers caught by different people, won't there? Yeah. That's what makes you make stupid mistakes. Yeah, yeah, you think, oh, I'm going to be behind at yeah, the start. He's caught big ones. Just, it's luck when it comes to big fish. Over, aren't you? You're putting fish in it. Yeah. It's them last two hours that are everything when it comes to, even this, when you need 40 pound of silvers. So often, when it's skimmers anyway, yeah. it's late on. It, it's the completely opposite, isn't it, if we're yeah. catching eyed? Eyes more loose feedy and yeah. Yeah, they it, feed dead early on, don't they? Well, if we were at somewhere like, where have we just been, Rich? Aston. Right then that's completely different and now you have to fish it because you have to catch your eye straight away. Yeah. Because that's what them greedy little buggers do, they eat. They eat and go, don't they? Yeah. Was the, what are these like? Because the, these are a bit they're different. Just big, they're big, so they'll feed, all, you'll get oddens all throughout, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think not, them biggins you do, don't you? Yeah. Which is like coopers and that, you just get oddens all throughout the day, don't you? Yes, once they're a pound and a half Because plus. there's not loads and coming in and a big shoal. Yeah. That kind of thing. It's not very nice, I feel like wintry very applicable in what we're doing isn't it yeah boy right straight back in over that bait i'm still i'm not excited about it that it's pulled in big fish it's spitting it did in a little bit different fish little lots bottle top fish. skimmers now isn't it lots of bites though isn't it what's this gonna be this is just one little tiny shower one little it? bobby one i can deal with this oh yeah oh, a bit bigger is he a hybrid hybrid here, isn't he i'd claim him in a challenge mate yeah, no, he exactly. is a hybrid. That's what won the challenge for me. All right, Jamie. Shut up. Shut up. That's what won our latest So if you challenge. weren't getting bites out there, how, how, would you top up or would you start loose feeding if you weren't no, getting bites? sit and wait. Sit and wait. You wouldn't lose feed. Do nothing. Just sit. Wait for them to happen. But I'm going to catch one more. And now I'm not happy with how it is due to lack of big fish. Right, OK. And if it's only little fish that are feeding at the minute, I can catch them quicker elsewhere potentially. So, that, yeah. so I'd use that as me as an excuse to try my short line. Right. Well, yeah, even that, this early on, Jay, yeah? Just have a yeah, look. You don't know. Because it's early in the year and because I've got depth. I could yeah. catch this straight away. It's Who knows? Depth. Yeah, it's the depth, isn't it? So we'll just have a little look and at we it. We always say it's a rule like an hour, don't we? But reality is it might be even shorter. Than yeah, that. I've not put enough bait in to knacker it. So there's no reason there couldn't be some fish over that already. What I've not done is loose feed over it. Yeah. Because I don't want a peg full of little diddy roach. I want them to be here, if anywhere. Yeah. So I'm going to go over this, try and catch one more of these nice and quick on this. The only thing that will spoil it is if I nail a £2 an hour on this one. And <laughs> then I won't know happen. what to do. It's going to happen, isn't it, as well? 
So I'm non-selective at the minute as well with maggots on the hook. Yeah. Has Pinch to be non-selective just to start. And then in a bit, I can whack a pellet on. Yeah. Or corner. Oh, he's got... Oh. I thought that would have been on there. Yeah. Yeah, cut. that's proper underused bait in it this time oh. of year. Mm. Mega that for me for a bonus fish bait in silver matches. Especially with skin bobs involved. But it's got to be little corn. Not what? too yellow. No, do you know what you can't buy? Niblets anymore? You used not? To, used to be able to get niblets, didn't you? That were like the little baby cut. You can't anymore. No, it's never in our Asda. That's what I'd have a little tin of niblets if I could. Right, come on. One quick bite. I'm pretty sure I struck one of my maggots off them, but I'm going to come back with a fish still. Maybe. Hopefully. Still no sign of life out there. No bubbles or activity, is there? No. Which I would expect a lot of when there's some big ones in my peg. And there's no way that them fish have eaten me bait yet after just topping up just gonna pull it out the way of that leaf gets off oh the leaf's come to get me it's gone quiet that could mean that something's arrived maybe couldn't it or i've got no bait on one or other so i'm getting weird lifts and all that yeah. sort of stuff the fish there and the in the peg aren't they yeah so what I'd rather do then, if they're not feeding properly, is definitely leave it. Ooh, oh, you, you horrible fish, you don't know what to do now. You knew it'd happen. Yeah, but it's not a big one though, it's just a nicer one. But I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it for two minutes and have a little look short, but not feed it or nothing. You're not going to go out there and feed it now? Nope. There's still, there's bait, still bait. And he's not a big one, is he? Uh... This is what you'd be catching like when they rock up. Nah, this is little, innit? For in here, that's a baby, innit? Yeah, the nice ones in here. Yeah, that's, that's only a... No. But well worth catching them, aren't they? Yeah, that's not changing my mood yet as to what I should be doing. Look at a dirty little... Smeg! What about lifting and dropping out there? No, not lifting and dropping, no, no. Mm. Never, ever, ever, ever. What's he? Four ounce, isn't he? He'd have got four clicks. He'd have got six clicks off me, and What, on the ounces? Is that what you do in winter? Click the ounces. Right, short line. Good, yeah, lad. We're I'm going to be live magwise. So, yeah, two live ones on, because we might catch yeah, a head. Yeah, boy. Come on. I don't think you'll catch it, though, because um, it's one of them, isn't it? Because they Might catch a tension, a cruise ship. Ah. Gonna catch, what am I going to catch? It's deep. Perch, I'm going to catch a big skimmer first go, on it? Perch first go. Got to catch your perch first go, mate. Got to. <sighs> So plop them in, just have a look. No loose feed because it is flipping deep. And hopefully they're on the bottom. It was a perch as well, that. <laughs> <laughs> that's chicken that's going to fed them worms as well. Could be, yeah. They'd come into perch, he's like that. That was a perch, definitely. So with this one, I've got to be the same, not get giddy with big strikes, because there's yeah. loads of indications, loads of liners. Because there's lots of fish in my peg already. So I've got to remember not to whack it too hard when I get a bite. See what he is. What are you going for? He's Rubs. a, he's a raw. Ooh, he's a oh, he's a proper whiff. Catch him nice. raw as well, isn't he? Nice, yeah, yeah. It's weird. What do you think it is with Roach? Did they not like the way I fed long? Oh, because... Or do you think they live short at this time of year? I mean, in fact, I think it's the, they live short more than anything. They do. That's where most of your bait's going in, isn't it, really? Anyone who comes pleasure fishing, they're not really fishing out there, are no. they? In a lot of these lakes. Because it's so often the case early in the season that all the Roach are here. Yeah. And they're not out there. That's yeah. the skimmer world. Then again, not going to feed. I do want to put some maggots in on this as quick as possible. But and then that's yet. when you'll obviously then will come right off bottom and up in so the water. I'm going to feed now. Your like F1 yeah. fishing to keep them on bottom. What's going on here? Yeah. Look at so them. Where have they come from? Beautiful. These what I was catching on top kit to start with. Yeah. Yeah? Come up there. Your floats be like that now. You're hating it because I've loose fed. Yeah. But it's it's how you'd want them though for like for like now because that's where you're going to catch a big run of them. Yeah. And then obviously the eye that are in. Just to attract different fish into yeah, the bag. You said we'd rather have casters for this. You were saying, isn't it? Yeah. Which I think I agree with that. Anything like fasting, darty. I think casters are better, aren't they? Then they just get down better as yeah. well. 
noise and see this happens as soon as a loose feed yeah definitely things go wrong in it but what's the the best plan Double of action feed, like that? Like if they want to keep on about like two, two lots of 30 or 40 in it would you go that heavy why is me pole keep sticking oh is it yeah whenever i use it. this single eight it's that it's that top kit or something i don't know anyway another one got any hybrids how quick are they adding up they're like decent chunky fish aren't they five to six to a pound dumpy on canal wouldn't you then not not dog don't no it's not a dog roach a dumpy <laughs> hybrid that not a dog roach but you'd be well up it is quicker than what you had out there even that, that's the thing isn't it yeah. that's what i was getting at is that long were great but too slow yeah so i may as well if there's another option to clatter yeah. while things settle then we might as well isn't it yeah mum i'm gonna feed it dead heavy again once i've hooked one i'm gonna give it a big handful this that happened quick. Oh. That was an it, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. They're like, it's going to go clunk and the last is going to stay there in a sec. It will happen. So good. Is that a goose, John? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> but fast. We're loving it. It is. It is quick. My own hooking isn't really fast. Double maggot or single when it's fast? Oh, double mate. Do you? Yeah. Is that one of the swimmers going for a swim? It will be, you know. Yeah, he's got his, his hat on, his uh, rubber hat. He said rubber ring then. They are hard, them, aren't they? Outdoor Proper. swimming this time of year. Oh, yeah. They are nails. Hardcore. What are we looking at on long lines? Anything happening? Can't see any fizzing coming up yet. No. I'm enjoy starting to enjoy so this now. So venues being venues on the, like, the long line, it's very noticeable when they rock up, isn't it? Yeah. You do you get them, oh, there's one past it. just past it, yeah. Saw so that little single there. one. See, this is good. I don't know about you, I always want to tot up what I'm catching in an hour when it's like this as well. You always want to what? Tot up what I think I can catch in an hour. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Without bonus fish or on the line when it's like this. Yeah. I mean, right now, I reckon I'd catch £5 an hour. Yeah. You having that? Which isn't good enough, but it is early on. I mean, because I'd be out well happy if an hour, two hours oh, in, yeah. if I've got £10, I'd be like, yeah, I'm flying. Yeah. It's calming down that. I like it when it goes in and sits for a minute. That's when you know it's got to the bottom. And yeah, you just feel that. Oh, yeah, there's one there. I'm not going to feed every chuck. So good. Because with these in my peg, Ooh. feeding every chuck, they're going to come up, aren't they? Yeah, boy. And that's when, in that depth, it can be an absolute Oh, my maggots in six foot. Can't they? Absolute nice. nightmare. You catch one at one depth and then you know you go deeper. Oh. In. Everything's falling apart today, isn't it? Including myself. Uh, so what would you doing match? Would you be happy with how you're catching there? Now I'm loving life. I'm get, I'm, I, I'm warming up now. Catch, catch one more yeah. then. Go back out long. See if anything's come over. No, because there's nothing bait. telling me to do it yet. Would you not? Mm, I'd want. Let me catch five. Because you had it. was a nice skimmer that one you had. It was a bit bigger, wasn't it? Mm. But something's going to happen here in a minute. Oh yeah. I'm going to clunk something right bigger. Me. Wallopy, wallopy, clunky. You clunk tell right. a difference, right? That's the same size as the roach. Oh, you've had a bubble. We're long. Yeah. There's one trump. Yep. You're just desperate for me to go on that. One more and then I will. Yeah, go on, what are you going to say? You tell the difference what? The weight in them fish then, they're, like, oh, they're yeah. the same size, but skimmers are just like... Not to him, is it? No. I've got nothing left. Got nothing. Nothing to me. Oh, you, oh you've got dark water there, haven't you? Am I I've getting got a lovely yeah. silver water where I am, mate. Have you? I can see your float perfect. See, it's gone down nice. So I think it's important to have an early look on your short line because it tells you how to feed it, doesn't it? Yeah. It tells you whether there's a massive head of fish there and whether you can get away with throwing bait. Because these yeah. are proper adder these now. Right, last one. Would you having an early go short is massive. Definitely. For letting you know, because if I had gone on and it never moved, which it often doesn't early yeah. on, then I wouldn't have any bottle to feed it too regular. Yeah. But you know, everything that you're putting in is getting nailed. Everything. Everything is gone, isn't it? Yeah. So I know I can feed it quite heavy when I'm not on it. Yeah. And that bait is getting eaten, which is brilliant. And I think that's the advantage that they have on the short line and the loose feedies, drawing them fishing. You know it's all getting nailed. Yeah. So it's just going to attract the bigger fish. Definitely. That's how you have to treat it, isn't it? Yeah. But that early little look, massive. Would you feed any ground bait now? I never put it on the short line, Jay. Just, you know what I mean? Just like, loose yeah, feed. loose feed. Yeah. I never feel I need a, a second hit of ground bait very often. Once it's there, you put it in once, don't you, that first time, and then that's it. Yeah. Just use loose yeah, for feed. me that's it, isn't it? Yeah, loose feed as well. 
Still no oh, oh. Well, I might have just had another bubble along then. Yeah, I did. So, coming off this because it's gone inefficient. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it two of them before the yes, dope. Yes, yes, yes. But see, every decision you're making, the fish are telling you to do it. Yeah. It's not just because I feel like it. No. Yeah, there's a reason behind everything that wind's changed. Again, the way it started there to the way it is just then when you come off it, you know what I mean? It's different, yeah. wasn't it? It changed quick, didn't it? Mm. Go on, the Papa Do you find that? I was talking about this with Jake the other day. Go on. You have to identify your just as you would a carp match. It's identifying your runs as well. Yeah. You know, when you drop on a line, especially your short line, in fact, your short line in particular, you often have a little spell on it. See, the bubble's there now, just short my yeah, bait. Boy. I can put my rig in that way now. Because the wind's gone a bit different. Yeah, you almost get to know, don't you? Yeah, you know that you can drop on that short line, maybe catch 10 quality fish, maybe three, maybe one. Yeah. And then you have to come off it, but you can do it every 10 minutes or something. Yeah. So early on until it, see that bubble just passed as well. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, that looked a bit carpy. You shouldn't get mad at carp. I've put that rig in like really short. I didn't realise how much pole was behind me then. <laughs> Don't know, that looks carpy, Dad Andrew. They were some big bubbles then. Thomas. Oh, I hope so. On oh, single six. Oh. oh. Why do we call it single six these days? I hate that. It's just number six, isn't it? Number six, yeah. We always do say well, single. Well, no, it's because when doubled come out, wasn't it? Remember, yeah, doubled well, that's like, we don't Face do, no that. one does that anymore. I used to use double, yeah, we don't anymore. No. Double fives. Very snotty. So nothing's happening. So now you start getting paranoid, Ooh. didn't it? Thinking, is all my bait gone? Yeah. Or not, but we got one in the end, so we're all right. So when there's a lot of these fish in your peg, it'll take long to... to clear it out. Yeah. Delete it fast, don't they? Especially, obviously, we're on our own. Match conditions, everything will be diluted a little bit. But mm -hmm. everything's just getting nailed. And obviously, with it is the time of year, eaty eaty, aren't they? Everything's eaty eaty, isn't it? I'm gonna put a pellet on in a minute. And try and go select them on them. Don't like playing dodge the leaf. Would there be a time when you'd like, you know, put like a, a bigger toss pot on and go four mil expanders? Mm. You're missing out on too many fish, I think. What then, four you? mil? Four mil expander, like you would feed for pellets, like F ones and what have you. On, on these kind of venues. Yeah. Personally, not... I think you miss out on too many fish. I think yeah. the way you're, you're doing it is like, bang on, you're going to catch everything. Yeah. You've got that big Early element. on, you want to be non-selective, don't yeah. you? The only time we do that pellet is like, obviously, when it's colder, isn't it? We can do another one on When that. we start tapping micros. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do it. It wants to be good, doesn't it? You yeah. can't tap micros. We tried it, haven't we? Where did you just go recently, Rich? South Ivy House. Ivy House, hoping it'd be... But uh, nowhere is yet. No. Um, we did it at Sherwood, you and me. Yeah, no. Literally 10 minutes in, that's it, we changed, don't you we? You just know it's not right yet. Yeah. No, they still want things happening. Eesh. Nothing is here. So what's happened to me, bait? Has it been eaten? I think it has. Yeah, I think it's been nailed, hasn't it? You haven't it? So I'm just at the back of me bait as well. I got fed a little bit shorter, and I'm just flicking that rig just past. So I'm not over all the bait, but... I still expect something to happen quick. My float's moving like it was before. Do you know them little movements on it? Yeah. Where you know that they're in your peg, but not putting their heads down. Yeah, it's just come up again then, hasn't it? Mm. Oh, bubbles. That's bubbles not, short, Jamie, look at them. That ain't no skin, Bob Andrew. Is it? See, because seeing that is making me think there's a carp in my peg. Is it? Yeah. And that interferes with decisions that I want to decide whether I want to feed or not. Because it might be I'm not getting bites because there's a big ugly brown thing in my peg. Rather than, oh, they've eaten it all. Because I'm seeing that, I think, oh, there's something big there. So I'd wait till something happened to me. Till I hook it or... So you catch it. Yeah, that would definitely stop me deciding what to do. I reckon that's a carp. It feels like one. Just because nothing's happening whatsoever, is it? Yeah. Oof. Go on. Can't see me float when it goes there. It's in the dark bit. You're going to eat it or what? Oof. It's moving all over the place, isn't it? Like yeah. liners. That's a carp, I'm telling you. Please don't knock a carp. You're not lifting his upper, Jay? No. 
I need to pull it back into my peg in a sec though, because I can't see it. It's proper move miles away, that. So it's just been a big calf out there then. Oh, aye. See him? Big swell. Big, big swell. swell. Now, back on my bait. Is anything going to happen, or do we need to top up again? So it might be that I've got to put a little pot on at this time of year, isn't it? Yeah. And feed something every single go. They could be eating that much that quick. Come on, eat it. But it could be that they just eat pellets. Come on. So it's move every cast Fish it moves, there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You get that on you on Dufa. See how often it's moving like little like that, but it, they're not bites. Yeah. Really pellets then. Watch this. So I'm going to get my expanders out. Pellets, pellets. They're eating pellets. Because I've fed pellets, that is what Z is eating. But while I'm off it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, Jamie. Many yes, maggots. please. So this is the yeah, problem of feeding expanders, isn't it? This, yeah. uh, not feeding expanders, feeding. Macros. Oh, fish meal. Watch this. I, yeah. I know what's going to happen already. Like, yeah. I know. I put a four mil on because I don't want little farty yet. Bubble. Go in, more selective bait. That's flipping ridiculous. Isn't it? It's right though, isn't it? You've sussed it out, you know what I mean? It's one of them. It's what the happens. Skimmers eat pellets. It. It's it's it is, isn't it? Yeah. How mad's that? Oh, mate. We that knew there's loads fish. of fish there. Yeah. But nice, positive, proper. We can no, still do it without the on. tappy little pots on. We can do it in a more positive way, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting them grazing and getting more numbers in your yeah. peg. He's big as fish yet as well. Yep. Oh, See, yeah. 12 ounce, eh? Beautiful. Go on the pop of doms. Pop a dim, pop a dom, pop a dom. It's mad or they won't There's touch magwise. there, innit? It's mad pound. or they won't touch magwise. Yeah? Yeah. That, well, that weren't conclusive, wasn't it? That was on oh, the mate. settle. That's it. And it's things like this that's making your decisions, folks. Yeah, you've got to, got to be on it. Yeah. If you know there's fish there, that's why I'm surprised. Not carp, there's not loads in, so. No, you think that was a shoulder skin, Bob? 100%. Yeah. Four milli pellet arm. If it does it again, then I'm, that's it, I'm out. But it's going to happen, isn't it? I know yeah. it is. Yeah. Hold him on there, lovely. Long came in. That literally had it on the way down, that oh last yeah. one. Watched it, on it, all the way down. Ooh, See the cat then? Be seeing you. Like a big ghost. <laughs> yeah, boy. I hate fish. <laughs> Absolutely. So good, isn't it? Joke, Little things like that. that. Amazing. This is what it's all about, match fishing, Jay, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Getting it right. And now the runs happen. Now I've gone from £5 an hour. Yeah. To... Who knows? 15. Oh, who knows, innit? 20, These are pretty whatever. much pound a piece, that last yeah. one was. This one's a little bit smaller. Half the size. Six, eight hours, hours innit? But you wouldn't think a flipping selective hook bait would turn a peg like that. Like I said, if I'd have stuck on maggots, I'd have ended up refeeding my peg then. Yeah, potentially ruin it completely, like yeah. old jacuzzi. Yeah, but jacuzzi effect. Just by feeling something's wrong, Yeah. feeding bait isn't always the answer. So now you quite happily fish this out, wouldn't you? And tell oh, mate, obviously you see how quick you're getting bites. I've got like a whole new peg again all of a sudden, yeah. haven't I? I can just flick it out. Oh, I'm very snotty. Well, so it's not fanny about he pellets with little diddy two mils on. No. It's nice and positive with a four mil on. So hopefully I should avoid them as well. Yeah. Should have fed that shit. And you're going to catch crucians and tench and everything like that as well. Because of the pellet. Look at it. Oof. Oh, that felt like, I don't Probably know, but I got away with it. That is, that even, it surprised me the level of difference on that then. Oh, mate, yeah. I mean, I know these skin bobs on commercials like pellets, but that takes the mick. It's just show them, all them little indications are them big fish yeah. or big air fish. They just don't want to eat a dead maggot. Why don't they want to eat a dead maggot? What's I up with a dead know. maggot? I like dead maggots. What, eating them? Not eating them. 
I like him for fish catching. Mm -hmm. I upset them then by foul looking one. Oh, mm. I just said I don't catch these. What a wally for saying that. But again, Sammy here though, Jay, innit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything's eating. Top four, it and. Yeah, oh, Dave Brooks. Dave's has just gone. Yes. yes. And I'm staying <laughs> tuned in. <laughs> just about to hang up on us, wasn't he? Because we put a pellet on and he's just gone. <laughs> I'll give him another 10 minutes then. Mm. Yeah. That's the plan, innit? So, that's what we're at now. Yeah, I'm going to carry on with this, Andrew. Don't need to change anything now, though. It's going, do we? No. Don't I, mean, nice it's just a I don't even think it's worth catching up on it. It's just a case of topping up. Yeah. With a little bit, all I'm going to top up with is that. And I'm not going to top up with maggots anymore. I'm going to get a new mix. Would you put micros in it? Where I just be, yeah, micros yeah. are vital. I'm just going to top up with one of them. Every time I feel my peg needs it, that's all it's going to take now. Yeah. Oosh. Oh. oh, Jamie, stop it. Give us a go, come on. Cut there, Rich. Let me get another go. <laughs> so good. Ah, oh. see it catch these for two hours. Catching yeah. how they took the last two hours, match that, one. That is how it is, isn't it? Yeah. You catch 40 pounds of these. Oh, mate, it's so good with them. They love pellets. So, many, many minutes later, when it's gone a bit minging, hasn't it? It's gone chilly. Weather-wise, yeah, but not fishing-wise. Yeah, fishing-wise, it's beautiful. been beautiful. But it's been nothing different to report on. It's just rinse and repeat, which catching these skimmers so often the case is for that second, third, even fourth hour in match, you just got to keep on plodding, haven't yeah, you? Mom. Yeah, And keep on putting them in the net. Especially when they're showing themselves now, Jamie, isn't they? You know oh, there's mean? loads Fizzing. of them. It's just, it's solid. Absolutely solid. But it's not big weight solid, it's, well, it's the weight we're at. 30 yeah. to 40 pounds solid. Yeah, yeah. But the only, what it could end up being now, looking around, is never coming off it, isn't it? Yeah. Which we're not going to do for this film, obviously. That's as boring as it could possibly be. But all this has taken, literally, it seems to be about five fish is the number. And it's just a case of topping up after five fish with a ball about that big. Giving it five minutes when I drop on my top kit, catch an odd fish. Um, and then go in and you catch another five or six pretty much instantly, which is, I've just gone back on this now after feeding it two minutes ago. But what I want to do next is settle on my short line. Do you know what I mean? Assume for the purpose of me film, that it's time to come to shore. Yeah, I know time, I can tick over day, on this. Yeah. yeah, I've just fed it, it's fizzing, but it's nice. So the only thing we've not done stay on this hook a decent fish, have we? A, a big fish. Big, big, yeah. No weird fish have come about. They are all no. going into hibernation. Strange that. Yeah. Thomas is in crucians and... Uh, here we go. Oh, so this has just been yes, lovely. Please. This is what we caught, these. So good. We're though, probably Jamie. averaging, I'm going to say two to a pound, haven't they? Yeah. But they add up when I'm catching one a minute almost, or one every two minutes yeah. at the least. It's ridiculous. And the perfect thing. But it is, it's unfortunate, it's just take your brain out and just keep repeating. Rinse and repeating when you're catching skimmers this big. So good. Because no one's going to beat you when it's like that, are they? No. <clears throat> and you have it. It's, it's not try and force anything. It is just be steady, plod, and put one of them in. What's he? Yeah, it is exactly two to the pound. You give me that? He's a bit bigger than him, and he's ten odds him. Very generous, you, isn't it? I am, mate. I am. I like my silvers. I haven't got a clue what I've got at the end, but I like my silvers. Nice pop me shot off as well, so that's definitely an excuse. But yeah, he is eight ounce. Nine ounce. Two ten. to a. Just, yeah, two for a pound is what we're going for. But anyway, I need a shot on that. Remember me if I have another go. But it is time. No, it's my go next on that one, Jay. Are you going back on that one? You're I'm not going to go on that one. No, You're going to go on that one. I'll be on Lucy, Lucy, Feedy, Feedy, Wallopy, Wallopy. Right. So, this back is on right line. exciting me now. And this is a lot later yeah. when they've had a lot more bait in it. Yeah. So, with a bit of luck, little fish have been fed off. I still think you'll get the odd one. Yes, but I do, because it it's just. If it's on the bottom, you've got a right chance of a bigger fish now. Yeah. And this is like, it's difficult, isn't it? Difficult part of the match is when you know you fish on one line and you can quite easily go in and catch them. But this is the one where you could potentially do most of your damage later on as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, oh, it takes something special for me to come off that line. Yeah. I mean, I'd need to see someone absolutely nailing a load of big ones on this. Yeah. Or I'd be that far ahead I could have forded myself a little go. Yeah. <laughs> Said you're catching it. That's what we want. Beautiful oh, fifth go. Jay. My go, I swear I haven't had a go on this as get well. Get off. Did. That was non-planning, was it? Jamie, get off. I don't think it's an ed, I it's think it's a skimmer. Ed. It's a hybrid of skimmer, isn't it? It's a skimmer. I told you I'd catch skimmer, sure. 
Is the hybrid? No, he's a skimmer. Mm, skimmer. That's a nice skimmer. A little tiny bit bigger than what we're catching long. Oh. Yeah, a bit fatter. Oh, mate. He's 10 ounce, that one. Feedy, feedy, eat, eat, eat. Nice, nice. Yes. Yeah, I've just had a pound in. Minute and a half. Beautiful, but yeah, once that short line starts kicking in like that. But again, it's not a rush, is it? No. I, I definitely know you are. I'll and make I can be mistake guilty. of that, yeah. Definitely rushing everything. We start, no, but start hour. feeding even. Yeah. Aggressive, and you don't want to do you because. No, because I'd be hooking it, feeding it, shipping back, feeding again once I've netted it, you know what I mean? Would you think in turn that could bring little fish back oh, into your bag? 100%, yeah. So 100%. I'm better off just getting in. I'm going to clonk another one, then I'm going to feed. He's got old school brolly, like with curtains on. Oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah, boy. So nice patient, rig in. If it's got to the bottom, even better. And we just want nice, steady clunk in it. Wallopy, wallopy. That's what we want in it. It's not, see how different it is to before when I was getting loads of little... No, no little dinks out. <clears throat> now it's just sat in it. So them little fish have been fed off. And we're just going to catch positive fish. And I, I like this better though. <laughs> because, <laughs> unlike the long line before where they had options. Oh, he's, he's That's a massive a big good goose. on. Flipping heck. Side of him. him. That is a big guy. That's though. nearly a barbel, isn't it? Plumbing heck. Look at him. him. With cameras on him, Rick. Look at him, bro. Right Donkle, wonkle. What's on about? He's nailed all your magwise, he has. He has, hasn't he? So, what am I on about? Yeah, long line, we had the problem of they could eat pellets if they want, which yeah. is why I wasn't catching on maggots. I'll just flick my other maggot off then. Um, whereas on short line, they have been fed 90% maggots. Yeah. So it's what they're eating. So it gives you less to worry about, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, yes, it's got some worms in that peg as well. That if you want to put a worm on, put a worm on. But that would probably be my selective bait on this. Worm. Is worm whacking head. a worm head on. Yeah. But as long as it'll, I think on this thing it wouldn't be a selective bait, it'd be a little fish avoidance bait. Is that I'll put a worm on if I need to on this. See, I'm not feeding over the top of that float when I'm shipping out or nothing. Because of false bites and whatever, yeah. yeah just because it'll cause problems, isn't it? It's yeah. the same mentality as F1 fishing, isn't it? Yeah. It's feed, get your bait down, clonk. Oh, the gudgeons are back. Is it a gudgeon? He's a roach. He's a roach. He was a little. Oh, what's he got? Like a blood blister on him? Oh, pop it. Pull. Oh, to do that. So it's back to catching a lot faster than we are on the long line, isn't it? And I'd evaluate now if if what would I do? Yeah, I'd give it ten minutes and see what weight I caught, and I'd evaluate that to what I was catching on long line. Right. Because long line, I'm catching pound and a half every ten minutes. You give yeah. me that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how fast it is now if i can't emulate that or beat that here i'm back out there and they're still out there they're just ticking over the lovely thing about your long line when pellets and thingy uh, your bait pellets and ground bait is that it's so yeah. easy to top up in it yeah like really really so easy because you, you need hardly any bait in your peg to keep them happy like they're still just blip Bloop, bloop out there, you can see them little Not the difference now from when we started, innit? Right, it's a different world, well, innit? up there. Look them out there, they're just settled and on it. This time I'm going to feed over my flight and just see what happens. Oh, Jay, look at the bugle. Bad move. I just, right, we just want to be out there. On this one before you got long. Pardon? Put double white on. Double white on? What's yeah. that, an id bait? Oh, I don't mind him. They're a nice roach, or them, aren't they? Yeah, I don't mind catching them. I can't believe you haven't had an id there, Jay, lad. Oh, yeah, you're shocked having had a nid? Yeah. Double white? Double white, mate. So I don't believe in all this, but you do, don't you? I do, I'm massive for it. Yeah. You get to nid. You do you ready? Impressed. No, it's just, I'll just treat it as coincidence. But... So, though. Mm -hmm. Was it always white ones for a nid? But you just told me you don't bring white ones anymore, no, though. No, I always have, you know I always have them. I'll always have like a few. Will yeah. And then same with reds in the summer, I'll always have a few just in case. That wasn't a nid. Not feed. No bait. So I'm keeping that top kit line ticked over. I don't think I ever stop feeding that, but I'll never drop on it now. There's yeah. no need to with, because of today's peg, how it is with loads of bites. Yeah. You're never going to need to drop on that, but it's just there just in case, isn't it? 
because how often at certain venues like where we just been uh, Sherwood uh, Makings a little bit Makings there's an odd venue where these big ugly brown skimmers yeah I live, live there so just chucking a little bit of bait in now and again you can just drop on and catch a three pounder even the ropes are like your white white one idea selective though isn't it yeah <laughs> It's oh, it's a bit bigger though, whatever it is. What is it? It's a roach. Beautiful. Proper stuns, aren't they? Yeah, so it's a little bit more weighty, weighty, buildy, buildy out there, isn't it? Them skimmers. I don't know, you know. I'm just missing the exciting thing happening, the big fish. But I think that's obviously the time because this is getting fast forwarded. Yeah. It does happen, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we're, we're a little bit early finishing this. We're only at dinner time now and we're trying to make it all rushed. Yeah. But it would, this will kick it. This is where you're going to hook your weird fish, isn't it? Yeah. Your ids, your crucians, whatever else. And it's just weighing up which one's the best to spend time on. But you do have to be careful, don't you? You can't skip about too much being indecisive. You need to just concentrate on one or the other. Yeah. For a period to make sure you put them in a net. Bitch. <laughs> See, Mick Viles catch two perch in one go yesterday. How's he done that? In same cast, fair play, Mick. Got some respect for me doing that. One perch was lassoed and the other one was in the mouth. Oh, go ahead. And he just cranked it in and just, yeah, just caught two. I thought I thought he'd had two hooks on. Yeah, I was well impressed with go that. Ahead. There you go, random. But yeah. Now, straight away this, not happy. It's a, it's a longy day, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately. For, for, for like the time we're on it now, yeah, definitely. But another hour from now, I think it would have changed, Jay. You think it'll beef up and we'll start catching more bonus yeah. fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what's going to happen. You're going to catch a bonus fish as soon as you jump on the box. That's when you're going to catch an id. You're the eyed whisperer. Go on, the ids. See how it goes. Ooh, that was a bit. Go scat. As soon as loose feed gets loose involved. Feed. You see it on your float, can't you? Everything goes scatty, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. You just. You associate silverfish fishing with loads of bait and feeding regularly, don't you? And it's yeah. definitely not the case, isn't it? So often. Well, for everyone other than you. <laughs> Stuck a bit hard then. Got a bit keen with that one then. That was a pace strike, that, Jamie. It was, wasn't it? That was a daddy make strike, that. Oh, yeah. Plunk. It's like summer again now. I'm liking it again now. Feed again. Oh, let's try and feed him, me peg. Stolen a magwai. One of magwais. Look at him fizzing out there. So if you don't catch one this time, get yourself out there. Again. I've got to go back Look long again. But again, keeping it ticking over, it's giving you confidence, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to do it, but that would be the next move, wouldn't it? Just Definitely. what we're seeing that quick. Yeah. You see, it's so obvious, isn't it, what you're doing. When it's wrong, it's dead wrong, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same as any fishing, isn't it? You, you always need to have your decisions by what's happening, not the, oh, well, just try this. Yeah. I mean, just trying this or settling on the unexpected, hopefully happening. Ain't no good. It's watching what's happening and seeing what's going on out there. It tells you that that's the right thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Saying that that could change yet, even that could go bigger yet, could it? There's a lot more pound than half skimmers, definitely. I'm not liking this, Andrew. So even at the midpoint of the session, sort of thing, this is still doing what it did the first time we went on it, yeah. So it's like not change, does it? No, it's one bonus fish, couple of all right fish, and then yeah, back and then to little weenie ones, yeah. That is a massive sign, isn't it? Of you're not going to hook a big fish, yeah, yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, Told you. Nailed one, long. We know it's fair White play. Maggot. So I know what I'm on about. Is he folks. in it as well? Oh, no, he's not. He went to jump out. It might be a popper dom. Was it? Sure, he went to put jump out. They do fight hard in here, the Ids. I don't think yeah, that's an Id. you an Id, you know. Is it an Id? But it is. That worked right on the limit, that, of nailing one. But it would make me have another go. They do love white maggots, Jamie. No, it's a big hybrid. Oh, it's a skimmer. He's a Popper dom, isn't it? He's a skim bob, yeah. Yes. Told you I'd catch some short. Look the at them. Fish. Beautiful. So that's pound and a half, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, yes. You said it, you called it both times. You know I'm going to nail a big one. Like when you're out there, you're going to come short. Yes. It always happens, doesn't it? It's just right, in it? They're what we're after. They are the adder-uppers, yes. isn't it? And that could be the sign now, you know what I mean, that they're starting to come in. Yeah. So another hour from now, flipping it. Oh, carnage, you care, isn't it? But getting your timing right, Yeah. everything's important, isn't it? Definitely. Like, even that top kit line, that pound that we caught before, Yeah. it all has it all its place. Up. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, the best anglers at this silverfish lark are the ones that do do the right thing at Definitely. the right time. I mean, it's Although not it about. It pains me to bring it up. Look at the Sherwood match, Jay, when you've had like that three or four pounds no, in the first five minutes. No, that, that, mean? that were getting lucky because that was unknown. I don't know, mate. You no, like, it was, fished that, it. You're look, new to doing it, didn't you? No, but I didn't I know thought, to I do didn't. it. I, I was out wrong. I didn't start there, you know what I mean? That yeah. kind of thing. No, that, I'm not giving you that. I was just lucky then catching bonus. But it is every little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, Jamie. Every little thing makes a difference. How weird is that that's just clicks skimmer. and changes? A little bobby skimmer. It He's rubs. a big roach. Oh, yeah, Dad. Thank you, Dave. Proud of me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you and your eights, you're allowed to swing ropes like that on an eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, like, now is like... Well, well everything just changed in 30 seconds, didn't it? It's like two pound in two fish, isn't it? Then? Yeah. I've gone from, cool. I want to be off this. So, just like that, whether that's coincidence or time or everything. Yeah, Mum just like that but it's whether it continues or not next it'll be now I know I can rest it and that'll keep happening now until yeah. the end of the day won't it and my runs will get bigger keep on launching maggots in like we're fishing for F1s see the nice loads of little signs isn't there when you lose feed like that but not nasty ones that you no. strike at is it so it makes me think that there's not too many little horrible fish in my peg I've got to stop striking the whole rig out. I can't stress that. That's my number one tip for silverfish fishing as well. It's Body striking lifts. at little bites, but striking at positive indications. Yeah. I mean, if you strike it too much, you can be a busy bellend, can't you? Yeah, definitely. You, you've got to, everything's got to be right and be efficient. Come on, one more big daft. Ugly poppadom or a nid to finish on. He's a nid. I can't believe he's not had a nid. They're all two pound as well, Jay. Are they that big now? Yeah. Beautiful big. Oh, oh bubble. I'm going to catch a oh. crucian. Please be a crucian. Oh, I missed whatever it was. Yeah, it was a proper bite and all, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Love them bites. Ding. Oh. Miss thing, yo. Miss rainbow. Sir. What are you looking at? Fine rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, does that mean we're getting wet? I'm going to put red maggot on because that's why I'm not catching anything. Catch perch. I won't. I'll catch a tench. Catch the last tench of the year. When's the last tench you caught? Yesterday, we caught. Oh, you said you got seven one Seven or eight yesterday. Seven or eight? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely catching a tench now, then. All on short line as short well? Short line, yeah. Short line was amazing. Didn't catch long because I may have overfed it. And you gave a lot of bait. I don't, I don't have any oh, perch. Here we go. I told you to catch a perch. No, Was it a roach? Don't do no perch. Don't catch perch, a perch. Isn't it? Oh, that's a beautiful it's a roach. Big roach. It's a roach that I'm going to net even. What? That's how Dave, big he is. Dave, look away. Dave will agree. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Yeah, Dave will agree. Know. That's a beautiful roach, actually. Isn't it? Fair play. It's a two and a half pound, like that. Yeah, done. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Nine and a half. Yeah, fair play. Right, one last fish. <laughs> That's it with this line, isn't it? It's so good, isn't it, when you're <laughs> excited. Do you know what the best thing about silverfish fishing for me is the excited bit of hooking something weird? I think it's this line when you, cause this you're, what, you don't know what's gonna you don't know what you're gonna catch, do you? It is, isn't I it? I love it. That skimmer thing's lovely long for winning a match. Because you can just take brain out and keep shipping, yeah. but this is the exciting part this of it. This is where your big perches or you know, obviously hybrid skimmer, everything, isn't it? Big roach. Very snotty. Look at the bubbles to the right. Oh, he's coming. He's coming into the peg. Look at, what, what is it? See, that's not silty there either, so how's no. that fizzing? Oh, I'm going to get something proper now. It's going to go clonk with a big end. Look at it, it's just dead oh, still now, isn't it? It's on it, isn't it? Something on there, isn't it? Moving, on, isn't it? Come on. Do you want me to do something just for you? Oh. Gonna lift and drop. That's it. it. Go on, mate. Lift and drop. You'll catch one. Go on, the ids. It's not an id. It ain't no id blowing. 
Oh, oh is an id. Is it? Soldier lifting and dropping Jamie. Is it an id? It's not, it's another big skimmer. These skimmers that you don't catch short. It's an id. It's a skim bob. You go for an id. I'm going for Did a, you fight I'm out going the for a big skim bob reason. again. Lifting droppy ids, mate. Lifting droppy ids. It's an id. Cold you, mate. <laughs> Lifting droppy ids. Look at the size of these, Jamie. Look at them. How good's oh, that? Oh, mate. Just, just, look at them. Well, that's Second the best one. in the old wide world to finish on, isn't it? Oh can... my days, look at the colours of it. But how quickly in an hour have those sort of fish turning up? Look at him, he's two, silver two pounds. He's not even ugly. It's just. Oh. But how quickly oh. catching a load of them. Yeah. You only need an hour on them, don't you? Catching 10 of them. Yeah, that's it. And you're flying up into that 40 pound gang, aren't you? Right, so, are you going to go out long? What are you going to do? No, I'm going to let you have a go. We are done. That is. It's like, but obviously that's fast forwarded, like another hour there for him to come into it proper, innit? Of course it, it is. It just shows you how quickly we'll go on to it when yeah, it's Yeah, but it's them steps, innit? Yeah. Of covering everything, evaluating everything once you've gone on it. Yeah. Dicking about a bit as well, feeding isn't always the option, innit? That was the best example I can ever say. I was going on that long line, thinking feed was needed, putting an expander on, and it and wasn't, it was it? Changes, no. It was just the reading there. the right thing. Yeah, hook bait. Well, yeah, that's been about it, hasn't it? That is early it. season silver fishing. Dot com. Get off, Jamie. My go. Your go. Come on then.